Welcome to Phone Arena's video review of the Samsung Rogue U960, available through Verizon Wireless. The Rogue is an update to the Samsung Glide, which was released back in 2008. It features a large 3.1-inch active matrix OLED display with a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels. The display is one of the Rogue's main selling features, with images and text looking better on it than any other current Verizon phone. When sliding the phone open and closed, the display automatically changes its orientation of the wallpapers and icons. It is also resistive touch sensitive instead of being capacitive, which means the touchscreen issues from the Glide are now long gone. Located on the side you have the volume rocker, charging port, camera and control buttons, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and a micro SD memory card slot that supports up to 16 gigabyte cards. The back of the phone has a nice texture to it instead of it being slippery and there is a 3 megapixel camera with autofocus and LED flash. The QWERTY keyboard has changed from three rows to four rows and there is now a dedicated D-pad on the right side. People who text message a lot will appreciate these changes since your thumbs feel less cramped and you have more room to work with. However, people with larger hands may be more comfortable with the NV Touch since it still has the keyboard with the most available room. The home screen has icons on the bottom for the dial pad, contacts, messaging, and the main menu. On the left side is the TouchWiz toolbar with widgets for everything from calendar and Bluetooth to links to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. They can also be dragged and dropped directly to the home screen. The main menu is laid out with nine icons on a 3x3 three three grid. After you press on one of them, you can scroll up and down the list or go to other menus by swiping side to side. Unfortunately, this is the only theme included with the Rogue, but you can change the font style and clock format. The Rogue supports EVDO Revision A, so even large websites will load in about 30 seconds and they can be viewed in portrait or landscape mode as well as in full screen. You can use the touch screen to move around the pages and zoom in and out by double tapping or by using the control buttons. Most websites are properly displayed and you can even play back YouTube videos. The music player program is a bit disappointing as it has the same red theme that has been on Verizon phones for years. Not only that, but multitasking is not supported, which means you can't listen to music while sending a message or using the web browser. But despite this, the music quality is pretty good through the rear speaker and you can also use plug-in earbuds or stereo Bluetooth headset. One of the best features of the Rogue was the 3 megapixel autofocus camera. Images taken outside are excellent and rival those taken by the NV Touch, but the Rogue does produce more accurate color. The flash is also quite bright and works in low light conditions. Videos can also be recorded in VGA 640 by 480 resolution. Overall, we are quite happy with the Rogue despite its outdated music player. Call quality and reception were both excellent with voices sounding clear and natural on both ends. The keyboard is laid out well and the display is a vast improvement over the competition. Please visit PhoneArena.com for our full review of the Samsung Rogue, including pictures and 360 degree viewing angles.